Hello, hello today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem if you fail to code e tennis on the screen of this S866 electronic or e-bike Pedelec computer system. There are a bunch of uh, fail codes available. In this case, it's, it is the E10. But if you have an E2, this is the brake problem. E3, power sensor failure. E4 is 6 km per hour cruise failure. E5 is a real time cruise. E6, battery under voltage. A7 is a motor failure. Um, um, E4, uh, um, 8 is turn fault. E9 is control failure. E10, this is our failure, it's a communication reception failure. E11 is a communication failure. E12 is a BMS communication failure. And E13 is a headlight failure. So how we can fix this? First step is we are looking for damaged cable and connections. That means we start here on the computer itself and loosen the screw to look what's going on with the cable which enters into the computer here. Let's have a look. If you have here problems of wiring problems, shake it a little bit. If it comes out, then you know, you know the, um, the failure source is there. But if there is nothing, it looks good. So we can get this back into position. And um, we tighten this screw again. This is the possibility of failure um, area number one. And because it's fast to look and make a short troubleshooting of it. For the next thing is we switch off the computer system and go at the rear side of our Pedelec. So here we are, we have the back side. Here's our back rear and um, the first connection between the front and the rear is this clamp here. To unlock this, we are bending the cable a little bit and get it out for more tension. And now we can remove this connection by pulling it out. Here we are. So, and these are the connections, ports or pins. And the pins should all be in one line so that looks good and they do not um has to be full with debris or something else and you cook uh, you look here inside this host and this looks good as well but often it is only a connection failure because this is not right in place but we can perform a little bit more we go and cook uh, and look at the left side and here you can see this is the connection to the engine to the motor we are now extract this from the position, get this off and have a look here. If this wired connection is not in a good shape, you should um, go deeper to make a troubleshooting. And if there is a lot of water, we can use our compressed air to blow that out. <laughs> Now we get this back in position because this sealed a little bit the water and then we can re-plug and plug in this connection again. You see there are two errors. One error is over here and the other error is on the host side. Okay, here we are. And these two errors has line each other and then you can push it into position back. Here we are. If these two arrows are not in one line, you will have a problem because the pins will be broken after this. And then you can get this cable back into the alignment here. Get it back. Here we are. We're going to get this back in position. Here we are bend it a little bit and get it back into the host area and job's done here we are good job. you have to look that the cable 
on the way to the computer. And of course, this sensor you can look to is not damaged. The cable is not damaged. And look, look, look. Here we are. Good job. Okay. It looks everything fine. Another location of trouble with our wired connection is here is the battery. And here is the main um, system, the main um, source. We are looking now to remove the screws and we can look inside the system because there are a lot of wired connections and on this area there can be problems too with our um, yeah with our wiring because it, this is not super dry there and that because of this, we are looking inside and have a short checkup of that system. So here we are. You can see this is the power source, plus and minus. This comes out of the battery and then it goes inside here. And this is, these are the wired connection. We can see there are a lot of connections available in this standard little padlock and here we look to the connections connection areas and have check up that they are locked each other properly okay okay and then we can look here this is the main model the module looks great too so we can get this back in position how we perform this, take the wires and get them back into position inside, push them into position back. And then of course we can reassemble the plate to get this back in position. And then we tighten the screws. And after we tighten the screws, we can check up that this is maybe the solution for our problem because sometimes the connections are not um, right and then there can be no um, yeah, power supply, for example, and this can be a good solution. Or you can see there is some failure in it and you replace this wire connection by yourself. So here we are. This is a good spot for failures on a Padillac 2. This is the battery and this is the connection between the battery and the system. And beyond the, or most of the time, beyond this, there is the wire. Uh, cables and so on and this is good to check and then we can reboot the system and if the connection problem is gone it, it, this is the solution and we can go back on the street here we are yeah good job now we are back in business often this is uh, the solution if the um, failure code uh, continue this place you on the screen you have to go deeper and maybe you have to replace the main uh, computer system yeah. or you have to look that you get a new uh, wire connection. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.